walk in and I represent the property lock with this afternoon. Um, just a bit about me, I'm the National Sales and Partnership Manager, so I, I spend quite a bit of time coming out and talking to groups like you. Um, most of my life I've been an actual insurance broker, so sometimes I really know what I'm talking about. Other times I have to go back and read my textbooks as well, so I suppose it's like anybody that's been around a while. Uh, just some of our bigger partnerships, we do a lot of work with ANZ Bank, um, the Institute of Chartered Accountants, so a Restaurant Association, a Road Transport Association, so we do get around and, and talk to a lot of interest groups such as yourselves. Um, just a bit about Crombie Lockwood and I'll really fly through these. Um, 1978 small company out in Hawke's Bay, that's our old logo, some of you might have seen that logo and recognised the logo a little more. Um, we morphed into the whole West Farmers group. In 2006, we were bought out, and by that time, they had offices right across New Zealand. Um, yeah, we were specialising in the small to medium commercial enterprises, but we have taken on some new capacity with some of our joint purchases, such as the Fraser McAndrew Ryan, some of you might have dealt with it in the past, uh, ACM Arlers, and these are companies which have now been incorporated into us. 24 7 claims service, and these are just some of the brands that I was talking about. So, the, the FMR is really sitting in the risk part, is part of our business now. Um, Across the whole segment, but I suppose the one that really interests you today would probably fit that small to medium commercial enterprise where we spend most of our work and time and effort. Just some of our offices, we you'll see we've still got some multiple locations across New Zealand, and the reason for that is we're still having some of the runoff on the ACMRs and the FMR books. So in some places we've got up to three offices, and as those lease agreements run out, but generally speaking, we're right across New Zealand pretty much where you are. Um, just some industry comment, this insurance has really got a bad rep of late and some of it is definitely due and, and I'll stand up today and say that some, some, of our, some of the industry leaders have not done what they were supposed to have done and some of them have shut up shop, some of them should never have been allowed to open their doors and some of them were supported by brokers, uh, I wouldn't, I'm not calling them colleagues of mine, but they were certainly supported by our industry. And unfortunately, they're no longer with us and they've left a massive hole and everyone is scrambling to try and fill that hole. The work that we have to do today to place any account is three and four times more than we've ever done before. Um, just about the customer contact, the client contact, making sure that we get all the information. Insurance companies are asking a lot of that information. Um, banks are, are, are asking questions that they've never asked before with regards to buildings and lending and loans and construction work that you want to undertake, etc. Um, that client expectation all time high and they are not afraid to run to the media and we, we spend a lot of time in mitigation uh, and just trying to make sure that we put the best foot forward and this is not purely about Crombie Lockwood that I'm speaking now, I'm speaking about our industry in, in, at large and it's unfortunate uh, that it's come to this and the earthquake really brought all this to the surface because when nothing's happening everything is fine, that's when things go wrong that it really counts. You've got change coming in your industry, you've got these, these regulation changes and we've got a product called Sparkproof, and it's been around for a wee while, and every now and again it gets updated with industry changes. And this is what I'm really here to, just to share with you today to make sure that you've got something. I know the extended certification that's going on, uh, increased accountability, these are things that are affecting your industry, and you are going to be held accountable for what goes on. Um, the safety certificate regime, and again, governing all these high-risk uh, installations that, that some of you will be working on and also some of the implications of that self-certification that go through. Um, the Spark Proof product obviously covers all of that, but it also includes things like uh, loss of tools, so it ensures your assets, it ensures your business interruption, um, tools in transit, which is a real problem for your industry, you, you don't work often at your own premises, you're always working somewhere else, you're sitting with customers and, and suppliers and materials on the premises for which you've signed for and you have probably not yet been paid for and might even have had to lay out some money for. Um, it's got a limit of $25,000, but we can take that limit, limit up to whatever you need it to be. I did one the other day for somebody $250,000 as a single piece of, of the, uh, part of equipment that was delivered to be installed and our, our electrician was, was on the hook for that. So again, it's got some really good basics in it, but it can be, can be uh, um, tailored to what you need. These are not the, by the way, these are not the important bits. The important bits are coming. Um, and I'll start with what I'll call a full liability product. Uh, public liability, <coughs> statutory liability, employer's liability. This is what we find in the market that most of, the, of, of our tradespeople will be sitting with that sort of, of cover. Whether they fully understand the levels of public liability or, or even employers is, is a really debatable point. 
and I know for a fact that unless I'm looking at someone in his eyes and discussing his personal circumstance and his personal jobs that he does, we'll get a full understanding of what he needs <coughs> and then buy the, the suitable limits. And I'm sure some of you will say, well, I have to have a limit of $10 million or I can't even go on XYZ's premises. And that's pretty much how we'll tailor that. These would start with minimum limits of $2 million on the public liability and then would step it up, probably $5 million now, and step it up to, to the higher numbers. You, 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 I'm sure everyone in this room has at least touched those three types of liability. But the other ones that are becoming more and more prevalent are the directors and officers liabilities. And there's been some, uh, um, some news in the press the last couple of years. Uh, liability for consequential loss is something that's going to be gnawing away. Uh, with the public that's becoming more litigious, they understand that they'll be coming after you, they'll be looking for all these different aspects to... Is that coming... Just look good over here. Yeah. Um, so consequential loss, I'm sure you can pick up some of it over here. Come on. And the law safe, the internet liability law safe, uh, legal defense costs, costs that you need money to defend yourself against litigation. And these are the types of items that have been included in the spark proof package. So as brokers, we sat down and we said, what are all the things that we really need to include in this package? And these are some of the items that we put in there. Oh, move the mouse. Move the mouse. Only move the mouse. Oh, there we go. We're almost done. There, perfect. Nice to be active. See, I'm not a technician. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> Perfect. Well, this is the one where everybody makes a mistake. Professional indemnity. And we saw it with the license building practitioners that have come through last year, and we're seeing it happening in your industry as well. So whilst you've probably had and touched some of those other forms of liability, professional indemnity was cover that was previously sold to persons like myself, to an attorney, an auditor. Those were the covers that they were buying. But with the certification and you signing off and guaranteeing and putting pen to paper and giving advice and people acting on that advice, this is when public liability, your professional indemnity covers really start to kick in. And unfortunately, I would say probably 80% of our industry, of, of, of the electrical industry, the tradesman type industry, are not sitting with this type of cover. In many cases, I'll also say to you that they probably don't need it. So you, you know, why the hell are you adding it and including it? Well, it, it, sometimes businesses morph, occupations morph, and when you look again, you're actually signing off stuff. You've acquired new staff who sign off stuff. And that's when your professional indemnity will really kick in. The industry is also very technical, and sometimes you don't really know when you're actually giving advice that someone's going to act on. And I'd even go so far as to say, you might not even be aware of all the facts You'd be giving it advice, and someone turns around and comes back and holds you liable for the losses that they've now sustained as a, as a result of your, life, of your your advice that you've given. In the past, you had to be paid for this advice. So as an insurance broker, I would earn a commission from the insurance company. So I've technically been paid for the advice that I've given you. It's not always the case. You're often giving advice without payment, and people are acting on that payment. So very important, it picks up the... Uh, programmable logic controller, and I learned a few things when I was preparing for this, so I'm sure everybody in the room understands what that is, and then also some software design. These are the things that are happening in your industry on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, it covers the extended for both gas and electrical installation work as well. Again, you, you'd like to have one product that fits and binds you and takes care of your business in those aspects. I said to you that these would probably not be included under a normal type policy, and the reason is due to cost. Because as soon as you try and buy these covers on your own, they end up being quite expensive. But when you have a group buying, and this is the way that this has gone through, you get the discounts and you get the, 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 you get the benefits of the claims experience of that industry, and you get the benefits of the pricing as well. And that's chiefly where this has gone. And the more, you, the more members you have on board, the better pricing you have, the better product you ultimately have. We've been using our SparkProof product for, uh, across New Zealand for, for a number of years, and every year or so we have changes that come through, and we make sure that it ties back up to your industry changes as well. Yeah, it's becoming a real litigious society that we live in, and I don't see it as changing in the near future. It's just going to get worse. Obviously, we'd like you to make use of, of a company like Crombie Lockwood. Um, I would stand back and say, just make sure you get some advice, 
and don't rely on your own advice. It's probably the worst advice you'll have. And I also understand that most business owners, insurance puts them to sleep. Because I look at my own life covers and I go, oh, good, I couldn't be bothered. Just get somebody to sort it out and give me the bullet points. What are the high points that I need to know? You need somebody who understands insurance and understands the, the type of work that you're actually doing and make sure that you do it. Go on to our website, click on the Contact Us page, fill in your details, and it'll bounce right off my desk and we'll be in touch. I know you've received the brochure that went through, Bark to Spark Proof. It's got a bit more information attached to it as well. So feel free to, um, to, to, make, to, to use those numbers and contacts right across. I'll just recognize somebody, I'll be your partner. Okay. Yeah. Does the PI insurance uh, that your, you know, your insurance brokers represent cover negligence as well as the... I mean, I, I've had PI and PL insurance, business equipment insurance, business insurance, goods and transit insurance, vehicle insurance. It's my biggest cost next to fuel and fun. Your professional yeah. indemnity covers covers legal liability yeah. where people have acted on the advice that you've given. Yeah. So that's almost the test. Yes. So one of your staff went out, he might not have been your best staff member, well, but he gave somebody advice. <laughs> <laughs> he gave somebody advice <laughs> under your name. Yeah. And they are coming back at you. It's like it's yeah. like almost a, a firm of attorneys. <laughs> um, not all attorneys are created equal irrespective of what they By say. By the way you look at it. <laughs> <laughs> so that, again, covering ne advice is obvious, of, uh, often oh, yeah. negligent. Yeah. And that's what we're picking up. Okay. So it's often negligent. And the underwriters, but the actual insurance companies that you deal with? Yes. Um, and, uh, today it's with X and tomorrow it might be with Y. Okay. But I will also turn around and say to you that there are certain underwriters in our marketplace, and I'll rattle off some names, like QBE, and I'm talking specifically in this space, QBE, Vero, Lumley, and NZI has really proved themselves okay. of late in that space. Yeah. Well, two of those four names I've been negotiating with through my broker every year. Yep. My PO and PL cover is for the same amount. The premiums have dropped from just under $400 a month to about $290. Okay. On the basis of submitting the fact that in the last 10 years there haven't been claims, professional development, ongoing competency, renewals, Absolutely. And all that sort of stuff. You, know, so you don't want one bad apple destroying the rest. No. And we've got the ability at Crombie Locker to take that bad apple out, retain the spark proof product, yeah. but not the same pricing structure. Okay. So we've got that ability as well. Um, economies of scale, buying in groups, it's, it's the right smart thing to do. But it's not always about the price, there's a broker standing here today, oh, no, it's no. often about that product, no, those add-ons, the directors and officers liability, yeah. the law safe, those are the ones that really help you. Yeah. Um, I'm, it's not my intention to make anybody an insurance expert, it is my intention for you to go back and say I really need to have a look at what I've got and I need to make some changes to that. And or, or do I need to make some changes? Let's just get someone to give us an advice. The equipment insurance cover overseas as well? Um, it can be ex extended, and it is automatic under this product to Pacific. So I do about Pro eight or nine trips a year. Where are you going? Um, you Tasmania, every Pacific island except Samoa. You're, you're in. And the United Kingdom. You've got the Pacific Islands as part of the New Zealand negotiation. And the problem really comes in with. Uh, uh, with the territorial limits that are named in the master policies. Yeah, keep that's where the US. Yeah, you are absolutely US and Canada. But again, I understand that a lot of you will be traveling all over the world. Yeah. When you go to the US or Canada, you buy a policy in that country, yeah. irrespective of what your broker tells you. And, uh, travel insurance as well? Travel insurance, again, it's a nice add-on. We've got, we do, we do all our travel insurance policies at Crombie Locket under a single supplier. So again, we negotiate the, the, the cheapest rates out. And the product, the covers that we get is just, it's ridiculous when you look at the length. Um, those are the benefits of bulk buying, but you, it's, it's important to make sure that you have the other side of it, because pricing is one thing. And ask all the folks down in Christchurch who place their insurances with Western Pacific and China. I'm not picking on them, I'm picking on them because they are not here today. When things really went wrong, they were better up. So make sure you've got 24-7 claim service, yeah. make sure you've got an underwriter that stands behind you. Those are the important things. Talk to someone else. Do you have a card in um, go on to the website, I will trace you, there's been that literature, Adam, and we'll, yeah. and we'll be on the site. What we're going to do, people, is we're going to uh, put the brochure on the website, and it's got all the branches and contact numbers, all right, and, and the flyer that explains spark proof. The product's great, but sometimes we need to extend that product. $225,000 worth of, of, of customers and suppliers, goods on your premises might suit one or two of you, but it might not suit many of you. We need to make those changes. Okay.
Or any other questions? Uh, questions that are converted, recommend you. <laughs> been yet done. Okay, we'd uh, just like to thank, say thank you very much and uh, show appreciation.